How's it going everybody? My name is Just Jared, but you can just call me Jared, your one-stop shop for legendary loot news and info, no grind or limbs required. Today I've got a quick Rocket League video for you all, so let's just get right into it. So this news is a few days late, but it's still relevant, so let's talk about the Rocket League Season 11 rewards. We now know that they are boosts, but what do they look like? Well, let's just say this Twitter response pretty much sums it up quite nicely. Yep, so here they are. Gotta be honest here, they're not really newsworthy or Rocket League worthy, like, at all. These are probably the worst seasonal rewards we've ever had, dare I say even worse than the Season 7 banners, and I couldn't care less about banners. These are like, real bad. I've read quite a long way down on the responses to the official Rocket League Season 11 Rewards Twitter post, and I have not seen one person who is even remotely interested in these rewards. This response by Rex is pretty perfect. I mean, the boosts are quite literally just colored lines. They look like a more basic tachyon. I'm not sure if there is a possibility of lower effort items, like usually as long as the seasonal rewards look somewhat decent and different then I'm okay, but these are absolute trash dude. The first season I've actually made a push to hit champ and these are the rewards. Granted I probably won't hit champ due to me being busy making content and such, but still. I feel bad for all the other players finally hitting diamond or hitting champ and then getting rewarded with this. This really brings up an interesting topic. Should seasonal rewards in Rocket League, especially Diamond, Champ, and Grand Champ, be even more epic looking than items you can get out of crates or items you pay for? I feel like players, including myself, would definitely say yes because seasonal rewards actually take skill to earn. For the most part, unless you're cheating the game and being boosted, in which case, please stop doing that. Thanks, it's dumb. Other than that, Rocket League's competitive mode is what you play to get better. It's the pinnacle challenge for most players. I think those players who manage to hit those higher ranks, who pour so much time and practice into Psyonix's game, should be rewarded rightly. Does Psyonix put more work into items that are in crates and items you have to pay for? 100% they do, and I think they always will. Don't get me wrong, I want seasonal rewards to be better looking, but almost every season this happens. They announce the rewards, everyone is bummed for the most part, and nothing changes. I really do wish Psyonix was better at communicating with the community. For the most part, they work through one or two updates a month on what's coming in the future, and they sometimes reply to people on the official Rocket League Reddit page, but that's literally it. You would think, after Epic bought them, they would make more of an effort with communication like Epic does with Fortnite. One thing I wouldn't actually mind Epic influencing. Maybe the entire item design team is too busy working on all the cool new items you'll be able to buy in the new Rocket League shop that's coming to the game once the crates are removed. Nobody was left to design the pinnacle Rocket League rewards that people actually work hard for, so once they get them, they can show off their rank in game. Oh. And if you're wondering, the reaction to these seasonal rewards on Reddit wasn't much better than the reaction on Twitter. Same argument. Players are not happy, nor should they be. People in Diamond rank and higher are the top tiers of players in Rocket League, excluding RLCS and things like that. They at least should be rewarded as so. Literally, no one is going to use these boosts. They are the worst seasonal rewards yet, and a huge disappointment, and spit in the face to people who grind out the ranks. Just because we aren't pulling out our wallets for these items doesn't mean they shouldn't look cool. Since the reveal of these rewards almost a week ago, there's been no response by Psyonix anywhere, so I don't expect there to be one at all. I guess we just have to hope there's better rewards next season. Woo. That's it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about this mess down in the comments below. Do you actually like these rewards? Stay tuned for more Rocket League loot news. If we get any updates on itemization in Rocket League, whether it be the new store or if they decide to change the Season 11 rewards due to negative feedback, I'll be covering it right here on the channel. Also, the Rocket Pass 4 was just announced, so make sure to keep it here for a video on that very soon. My name has been Just Jared, your one-stop shop for legendary loot news and info, no grind or limbs required. Like the video for some underglow in Rocket League, I mean come on, it's an obvious customization feature that could be a thing. And subscribe for seasonal rewards that didn't come direct from a trash can. Until next time, happy looting.